Welcome to the progress report of the indoor theme park, which has now been named The Birdcage. We are on episode 11, so we have put a decent amount of time into this park so far, and yet we still have so much work to put in. But something I'm going to be doing is every 10 episodes, I'm going to be making a progress report video to just see where we're at with everything. We have a lot of people headed into the park, and I don't typically make these real-time Planet Coaster videos because my parks are really big and elaborate and you get to see how mediocre the frame rate is. But I'm just going to get over that so we can take a look at what we're doing so far. And also, I want to show you guys some plans for the next rides that we're going to be building. We're going to build a new ride here in a moment, a thrill ride. We're going to add some music because right now as you're listening... I have the game sound on and the music on, but it's very quiet. So we need to put some speakers in some areas so we can have some music. We need some of the rides to also play music, which typically I play this game with the sound off and I'm just listening to either podcast or music on Spotify. But today we're listening to the raw sound of the theme park, which is gonna be great. I love the ambience in this game. It sounds so good. So I still need to do a lot more to this entrance. It's still a bit empty. This whole entire section is going to have a makeover in the near future. And we're gonna have a lookout point that somewhat extends so you can truly look out into the coaster pit. So I wanna tell you guys the plans for a few of the new rides and roller coasters we're gonna be building over the next 10 episodes. That way you guys can like picture where the park's heading. And then also we need to make a few changes. Like our first roller coaster we built over here. I think I want to move this chain lift. And we still got to get rid of this pretzel element right here. So we're just going to be taking some of the viewer suggestions today. And improving what we've built so far. So this roller coaster. <laughs> I have named the Silicone Sidewinder. Because since we were basing this off of Yosemite, I was thinking, what's something close to Yosemite? And Silicon Valley came to mind. And since this is like a huge valley, I was like, why not name it after Silicon Valley <laughs> and make it the Silicon Sidewinder? Because, you know, it's, it's very technologic in a natural environment. Then I named this coaster the Intimate Impulse. I named it the Reflux. Because you just get that that sinking reflux feeling in your stomach as you get launched backwards. And then we have an RMC coaster over here named the Steel Express. Of course, you all know we've been decorating it for the past several episodes. Uh, we haven't even really been decorating for this coaster. We've been decorating all the area around it. But speaking of the area around it, we're going to place a new thrill ride right quick. Oh wait, do you guys want to see the stats? I'm going to show you the stats of the rides. Because we have been totally overlooking that. The pizza din is looking nice. Oh, what's up with our worker? He looks so demoralized. Dang, that sucks. Uh, I am really happy with the building so far. I might add some more framing around the windows and some scaffolding on the bottom. But not right now. <laughs> Taking a break from that. Okay, we have this kickflip tumbler ride. Is it open? For some reason, nobody's riding this. Nobody wants to make the walk. I guess it's just like too far of a path for this ride. Here, we're going to entice people by having a ride in the center. So we're gonna pull up our thrill rides. My mouse wants to stop glitching on me. We're gonna build a 360 power which I think this is one of the coolest thrill rides in the game. Let's go ahead and test it out. Whoa. Look at this thing. Ooh. This looks so much fun. Yeah, this is the perfect ride. And then we're gonna have a roller coaster going behind it, which is the next roller coaster that we're going to be building. But I wanted to build this in the foreground, mainly because if you back up, I feel like I should move it over. I want you to be walking down this path and you just see it at the very end. 
think if we place it right there, it'll be a lot more showy. Go ahead and place the entrance. Uh, I feel like it doesn't matter too much. I want to build the roller coaster first, and then I'm going to do all the pathing and scenery around it. Well, this is testing real quick. I'm going to start kind of building a mountain over here. I think this works okay. Is that going to collide? <laughs> almost. Not quite, but almost. Let's like make it a little bit safer. What is that sound? I hear like a something honking. This red has some pretty intense music. Very orchestral. Whoa. Oh yeah, that's much better. <laughs> that way you really get pulled in here. Okay, let's go ahead and just connect it up. This is all gonna be temporary, like I said. Okay, that works for now. I'm just trying to pull some of the people down here. I'm gonna name this ride Dizzy Dynamite. Do we have stats? The Fear is five. Okay, this is a scary ride. I never looked at the stats of our other coasters. Let's do that next before I do anything else. Are we pulling people down? Anybody interested? Why is nobody coming down this path? Come on, people. We have more rides. Dude, everyone is in line for the Steel Express. They love this coaster. Wow. What are the stats? I must know. It has an excitement of six, a fear of four, and a nausea of one. That's like a near-perfect coaster right there. Look at everybody. <laughs> They're, it's excessive. Y'all, there's other rides. RMC coasters are no joke. People love RMCs. And look at the way they're all cycling through here. Wow, there are so many people in here. What the heck? Why are there so many people in here? Y'all want to get your on-ride photo? Oh, oh, I still need to actually add these. That's going to happen in one of these upcoming episodes, is I'm going to add more photos and, like, billboards and stuff to the game. It's one of those pixie stick machines where you can make your own pixie sticks. If you're trying to eat just pure sugar, I know I am. Okay, this is one of the entrances to the depths, which this is going to be a large section of the theme park, so you all know. This is one entrance. I'm going to build another entrance from the other side, and this is how you get on the reflux. What are the stats for this ride? Whoa, excitement of 6.2. This is a really fun coaster. Fear of 3.9. <laughs> Damn, this almost has better stats. Then the RMC coaster, and it is probably 10% the cost. It's okay. Yeah, we really need to build a station for this thing, but it has some great stats. I'm also going to build a station for a river rapids down here, and the river rapids is going to outline the perimeter of the coaster pit. This dome is looking awesome. Okay. I have to tell you guys the idea for one of the next coasters we're going to build. We're going to build it up here along this top edge. I'm going to build some extra supports coming out of the scaffolding right here. And I'm going to build a platform kind of circling the upper section. And we're going to have a coaster twisting along the top. So even when you look towards the ceiling, you'll see a coaster just winding around. Uh, the other coaster, here, first off, what's the stats for the Silicon Sidewinder? Excitement 5.1, Fear 3.3, what? How was this the least scary ride <laughs> out of these three coasters? That's wild. 
Okay, silicone sidewinder. I almost want to make you scarier. The heck? We have Wild Blue. What is... We don't have a name for this ride yet. I need to change the color. I don't want to actually keep it. I like blue. That's nice. I'm naming that Full Flight. I hear so many people laughing. That's so funny. Where's that coming from? This arm sea coaster. This little indention up here where we had to raise the roof because the coaster needed to be taller to have enough speed to do what I wanted it to do. It looks cool though. I like it. It's kind of a nice accent. An insane first drop. I love how arm sea coasters have these near 90 degree drops. I made it more steep than what's in real life, I think, by a little bit. Whew. Just because it's a video game, why not? Still gotta connect up the monorail to the paths. I named this the bird line. <laughs> Everyone hop aboard the bird line. Chirp, chirp. I like how it's behind the waterfall. It's kind of a secret to everybody. This right over here is named Pumped Up Kicks. How do you Excitement is four. Fear is 3.8. I really want to decorate this corner over here in the near future. I want to make it really mystical. And then this ride, which is broken down, oh no. I wanted to name it something just really bro cool, so I named it Infinite Insanity. Because it's infinitely insane. <laughs> okay, I want to make some t some tweaks to the Silico Sidewinder real fast. Yeah, these people are not going to be happy. I'm going to make them backtrack their whole lives. Okay, I'll give them a second. Let me tell you guys the ideas for this for these coasters before we start building. Because building is going to take a bit more time. So what I'm going to do here soon is we're going to build some paths coming through the center of our sculpture. And we're going to have an upper section all the way up here with the station for the roller coaster I just mentioned earlier. And the coaster is going to enter the dome right through here. And we're gonna have a coaster circling this upper section, which I think seems pretty realistic because we have a bunch of supports right here. So if we just kinda angle one out at around 30 degrees, make a triangle, we'll have a platform circling, and then we'll have the coaster kinda staying on top of it might bring it up to this upper section a little bit. We'll drop it down, and then it'll, it'll come back up. We'll play it around with it. I mean, I'm gonna make it look kind of realistic, but obviously it's not gonna be that realistic. <laughs> and yeah, it'll circle all the way around here. You'll have views from the park up above as you're riding the coaster. And I think that is what's gonna make this pit really crazy. I'm going to have the other path going to the depths be over here. This is going to be the more wheelchair accessible way down. This is gonna, we're going to have a path that slants down. And it'll connect up over here. I'm going to carve out all of this section down here. So we can have the entrance for the river rapids. And we're going to sort of decorate this tunnel for the RMC that we have that goes underneath the entrance over here. Light that up. Then the other coaster that we're going to start building very, very soon is going to start in this room. Which, let's just go ahead and build the station for it. Let's get it ready. Custom. It's going to be a Canyon Runner Mine Train. I want a Mine Train just because it fits the theming that we have for this whole entire wing. Bring it up. And go right there. And then to begin, 
it's going to be immediately curving into the mountain. And I'm going to have to be carving it out. But as you see, we have enough space over here for our coaster to get started. And we'll do some scenery to get it started. We'll have a tunnel and we'll set up sort of a story. Okay, we're going to want to auto tunnel a little bit. That way we have some like space to work with. I'm trying not to get in the same space as the path or the ride next to us. I'm gonna go about 45 degrees. How does that look? Is that clean? I think so, yeah. That's clean. Now, building is going to extend over here so I'm gonna have it go a bit higher we're gonna have like a section of the building that goes right back into here it's gonna keep extending back and for anybody concerned about the monorail being outdoors and not inside the monorail itself is like being inside whenever you're in this like look at this it's completely sealed and look at how cozy it looks inside so as far as I'm concerned the monorail can be outdoors because when a guest is in this they're practically indoors <laughs> it's like a little shortcut for us okay I, this is definitely tall enough I don't want it to be like too scary because I somewhat intend for this to be a kids coaster I do want to build the mountain up a bit over here we'll see how it looks Okay, so this is the coaster that we will be finishing next episode. That's kind of a start. I think that's pretty wild. Just smooth it out a, a little bit. And look at how awesome this is gonna look. When you walk through here now, you'll come down and you'll see a coaster right on the horizon. Doesn't that look nice? You see the monorail above you? This is sort of foreshadowing or a tie-in to the coaster because we're going to have the mine train going around these tracks and you'll see a, an actual train up here. So it kind of seems like it's a part of the coaster, but it's not. But yeah, I'm going to have this coaster circling this entire area and it kind of gives a purpose to this opening room up here. Which has good circulation if you come in right down here. So we, have, we have a lot of mountain space right back here. A lot of underground space. Both of our stations are going to be undergrounds. We still have to decorate this as well. Which I'm going to have the coaster when it goes back to the station. I'm gonna have it wrap around this side of the waterfall, and it's gonna it's gonna kind of come through this room, so these guests waiting in this room are gonna be able to see the coaster rushing by them, and the scenery for the Steel Express queue is gonna be a crystal mine, and so having a mine train running through the station, it makes sense. It ties it all in together and also makes you want to ride that roller coaster next because you'll see people having so much fun on it. Oh, perfect. The silicone sidewinder broke down. I didn't have to close it. I didn't have to be the one to break all their hearts. Amazing. This is what I love to see. Oh, no, but I can't go into edit mode when it's broken down. No. Oh, thank goodness we have... Uh, Charlie, Charlie Bigelow coming through. He's a trainee. Hopefully that doesn't mean it's going to take a long time. Oh no, does he have to wait for the entire queue to empty out before he can go in? Oh, it is like that, isn't it? Wow. 
so slow. Okay, well maybe we can do something else while they're doing that. I like this music. It's kind of like mystical. I want people to have a mystical sort of feeling as they walk in through the entrance. They build them up. What are they about to see? If it's your first time, you might not truly know. Unless you watch my YouTube channel, of course. People who watch Attacking Toucans on YouTube have a peek into the future of culture. Speakers. Gotta make sure they're spaced out a decent amount. That way the music's not overlapping too much. And then they come in through the entrance. We're gonna have a wall here. So you have to go through, you have to pay your ticket, and then you walk through. And you're gonna see the entrance. The reason I've held off on this and finishing the entrance is because I wanted to see how some of the other stuff I built tied into the entrance. Because as you see, we've had a coaster go through it. Uh, we've had some paths connect up to it. And overall, I just wasn't entirely sure how it was all going to tie together. So I just wanted to hold off on finishing it so I could see what else I could add. And well, before we add more, can I, <laughs> can I edit this coaster now? I should be able to, right? Oh no, it reopened. No, sorry guys. Now I get to be the bearer of bad news. It is officially closed because we are getting rid of the pretzel loop. And we're gonna get rid of this whole pretzel. Do you know why we don't need this? Because it's taking up too much space and I need space for my freaking scenery. I wanna build a structure here, a building. You know, it'll look way prettier because I got the zest. I'm a zesty architect. Something most architects can't say about themselves. And oh my gosh, it's taking forever. This is why I play the game in time-lapse mode. Time to build up. We're gonna go up at 50 degrees. Background music coming in hot right now. Okay, let's move that out. I also want to like, I want to bring this out if I can. I like how you can just do some wonky stuff and then you can press smooth all and it'll fix it right up for you. This should be good, right? Smooth little ending. It doesn't need to go up that high. Let's lower it all a little bit. I'm gonna lower this so it doesn't slow down too much trying to go up there. Dang, autosave will be the death of me, I swear. Autosave is my least favorite thing about this game sometimes. Okay, let's turn off a few of these track supports now. We have a lot of supports on this coaster. I'm just gonna go through and kind of minimize it a little bit. Right, these chain lifts don't need that many supports. I'm okay with having like <laughs> a third the amount. That honestly feels like it's enough to me. For a video game, yeah, 100%. Can I turn off this single support? Perfect. Turn that one off. Okay, this first drop has quite a few. Let's 
Let's get rid of this one. That one's too much. Would it be wrong to get rid of this one too? Hmm. No, I think we need that one. I think we can get rid of this one. Get rid of that one. Like some of these spots, like if I can get rid of every other one, that is okay with me. I'm not trying to have a bunch of supports all over the place. We still need enough though, if you take away all of them. It makes it look like your coaster's full of helium. Okay, we got rid of probably like 30 supports or so. There's still a lot, <laughs> but it's not nearly as like, as much as, as we had. We get rid of all the unnecessary ones. That uh, might be necessary, but in our park, I don't think so. Okay, I smoothed these sections out here. Try to make this portion back here behind the waterfall a bit more interesting. Okay, I think this will work a bit better for what I was trying to do over here. Just trying to make sure everything's as smooth as possible. It takes a lot of time to get it all perfect. <laughs> like building really good coasters in this game is a hundred percent a process okay so we have not ridden this coaster since we've built so many other things in this park including the steel express so let's see what it's like now we have the outline of the left wing put in oh something else we're gonna do Right below here, this section kind of reflected across from the pizza den. We're gonna have a huge arcade. I'm gonna build an arcade and it's gonna have bumper cars and food and a restaurant. And it's gonna be awesome. All right, let's check this thing out. So the code Sidewinder. See how this first section. Ooh. I think that seems fun. Is that a good element? I think it is. I might want to straighten that out a bit. <laughs> it's interesting. Okay, okay. Dipping down. I try to add a bit more air time in there. Whoa. We fly through that loop. And that air. Oh, and that zero G room. Then we slow down a bit for the corkscrews. There's a lot of inversion on this coaster, so do not eat before you ride it, please. We beg of you. see how this thing ends. We have not experienced the ending since we have revised it. Hopefully it's good. Okay. I like how you can see the reflux as you're going up this lift hill to the left. And I like how this is in line with the windows up above. Oh, and we're looking straight into the station as we climb up. That's cool. And then one little helix. Just to get one little look at the whole entire coaster to see what you just rode before you go back in the station. Okay, that feels like a much more appropriate ending. And now it's all boxed in. Oh. 
That is some delicious, delicious progress right there. 4.99. Dang. <laughs> How is this not that scary? It literally goes really fast through so many inversions. I don't understand. Is my G-Force too good? Did I bank it too well? I guess Grandma can ride Silicone Sidewinder. No complaints here. Why are there so many people? We need to add more stuff in this park because everything is getting so crowded. Not the bathrooms being stinky. That's not okay. I think that's one of the reasons my game was being kind of laggy is I had the light on this whole time. That's gross. That's disgusting. I did not think so many people would walk through here. <laughs> that's so funny. I'm really excited for us to add all the detail to everything here. <laughs> the main reason I haven't is because I wanted to build the coaster first to see what type of damage that would do. And once the coaster was in place, then I would add all the details. Because I'm not trying to detail everything just to delete it later. Things take way too much time <laughs> to do that. Okay, let's take a look up here real fast before we end things off on this little mini tour. I thought more people would be up here. Did our ride break down? I'm really happy with how clean these edges are and the fact that we have everything enclosed. The hot hen house. Oh, who wants to come get some hot hens? I know you want some, don't lie. But there's a little town up here with an old school Venetian carousel. And it's playing the music. Everything is slowly coming together. I am very, very excited to see where we are 10 more episodes in. Episode 21 will have the next progress report. By that progress report, we will hopefully have three new coasters, a new River Rapids ride, and a huge arcade with bumper cars. And we're just going to continue detailing everything we've built so far because there's so many more details to add. Thank you all so much for the support you've shown for this series so far. It's been so fun putting together this project with you all involved. I see lots of you guys repeating ideas in the comment section, and I want to say you don't have to do that. I have seen your comments, but I can only build so many things at once. So eventually when I can consider adding new stuff, I will remember the comments that you all have posted. But if you have new ideas and fresh takes, feel free to put them down below. Let me know what you guys think about these live action videos in the comment section. I think it's fun to play the game in real time. It really shows how slow all the building is. Like the time lapses are super necessary to make any sort of progress when building parks this detailed. But it was fun to slow things down a little bit and just take in the park ambience, hear the sound effects, and of course watch the ants have the time of their lives. You're all awesome, and I'll see you in the next one.